How many times have you woken up in the morning to find out that your games on your NES or SNS Classic have been replaced by your roommate, family member, loved one, or even your family pet? My cat must have been on my system this morning because my SNES Classic now has some PSP homebrew games on it, including Mario Masochism. Let's see what Mario Masochism is all about. One thing to note about homebrew games, especially for the PSP in particular, is that many of them are just not going to work due to the fact that the original PSP required custom firmware, very specific custom firmware, in order to emulate these homebrew games. So you're going to find a very small percentage of these actually function properly. But this game here actually runs, and it is an incredible game, especially if you love games like Super Meat Boy and Trials HD. Great graphics, great music, definitely amount, an incredible amount of time was put into this. Welcome to Mario Masochism. I know what to expect here. My only tool at my disposal is a double jump. How far is that going to get me? Well, not very far apparently. My cat must have used all his nine lives trying to play this game. I could do this. Well, I made it past the first level. What's up here next? Oh, I guess I did it. <laughs> Just because you're at the exit, don't expect it to be the exit. Kind of like the movie Creep Show 2, where a group of teenagers are basically in the pond. And they have some ectoplasmic monster chasing them down, and one of them finally escapes. But at the very end, as he's laughing woo ha ha like Al Pacino at the monster, the monster jumps out of the water right at him and still gets him. Gotta love those creep show one and two, and any of those anthology TV shows, such as Twilight Zone and so on. And I'm a big fan of Black Mirror as well. You gotta watch uh, season four, episode one, incredible Star Trek play, play for play, basically. Of course, I love Outer Limits and Masters of Horror. See if I can get through this here. That sounds familiar. That almost sounds like uh, an Atari sound effect there. Okay, how am I going to get past this part? All about timing. <laughs> I can definitely see myself putting a couple hours into this. It's, it's pretty ingenious and it's pretty addictive. There's Mario Masochism and I'm running it via PPSFPP. So close, but so far. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Kinda reminds me a little bit of the Dragon's Lair scheme of things. Whereas you could spend about five to six hours trying to beat the game, dying endlessly over and over again by trial and error. And finally realizing you can get to the game in eight minutes when you finally master this, the mechanic. In this case it seems that it's all about timing. So if I kinda analyze the pattern of these enemies here. Let's try this. Right when the enemy's about to hit me. Okay, I made it past stage one there. So I can make it to the second block by analyzing the enemy AI there. Let's see if I can get to the third block. Pretty awesome soundtrack here. This is sweet as hell. So I'm assuming right when the first enemy on the first block is about to hit me, I'm going to jump to the second block. Then I probably have to do a very, very quick jump to the next block. Let's see if I can do this. Definitely a tough type of game to do a, a Let's Play video on. And the Angry Video Game Nerd yet came out on the Nintendo DS 
and the uh, Wii U is very, very similar to this, and I love it. It has this style of gameplay where you can die hundreds upon hundreds of times with a Mega Man style setup, and each level is based on a various video game premise such as Castlevania, Mega Man, and so on. So I would highly recommend playing that too. But anyways, this is Mario Masochism. Give it a shot.